Okay, so um, this is the result of the photogrammetry um, work that we've done on the Wharton kiln. Uh, so this comprises of 1.6 million faces, 800,000 vertices with a 4K texture on it. Um, so if I just stop the rotation around it, we have a look at our object. As you can see, it's also being moved so it's centralized. So that's been exported now. So we go to the exported model. So this has been exported as FBX. That's without the texture on. If we just add the texture to it. Go yeah, this with the texture on. That's quite detailed. We've got problems here with the texture because obviously this is bright sunlight on this side. But we see a bit of the interior. So that's ready now to put into the uh, Unity game engine. Okay, so to go through the process of uh, importing the mesh that you want to be tied to the image target. You can see here there's the image target. Okay, all right, so Vuforia has got two elements the image target and the AR camera. The AR camera will obviously be the camera that will see through whether it's through a webcam or whether it's through an Android device. So I've already made up a folder called Mesh. Open the Mesh up. I've already got some examples in here, but I'm going to import the one that I just showed just before. So you go to Assets, Import New Asset, and we're going to import Mesh 3. Just have a quick look at Mesh 3. Just go to Properties. You can see Mesh 3 is only 53 meg in size. Okay, so that's a reasonable size for quite a large mesh. That's 16 uh, sorry, 1.6 million uh, polygons and with a 4K texture which is associated with it so we we'll import that in. So import and then it's going to import the FBX and uh, we'll see whether it imports the the, uh, the texture. Now in this instance if I just close some of these You can see that the mesh three has been imported in, but the material hasn't got uh, the texture associated with it. I'll show you how to do that. So, uh, first of all, we'll just drag this mesh in, and you can see this is the mesh and this is the image target. Now, the image target determines how this this three D mesh will be tracked and obviously we can scale click on the scale tool and we can scale mesh 3 down and we can also move the mesh you might want to go to a top view and we can move that in so it's in position As you can see, we want to, if you find it difficult, you may want to put into orthographic view. If you click on the square in the center, okay. And if you go to the top view, you can actually see the size of our object now. It's quite large, so we need to scale that down. Just click on the scale tool, scale it right down. And we can also position it. And remember, it needs to go in zero, zero. And just place that on top. So remember, the image, the image target will be at the base there. So this will be sitting on the top. So we go back to our three D view, three D view. And if we select our image target, you can see the image target is 
quite small, we can't even see it there. So we'll just let's bring our mesh up and then scale it down a little bit more. Scale. There we go. And we want to set that on the top Irish target. Okay, let's sort of that. That looks okay. And of course, we can then scale this up now. So it looks a bit bigger. And then we do it. Okay, that, that's fine. So we'll just save that. So the next thing is let's deal with the problem with the with the material because the material has been imported in, but the material doesn't have the texture on it, so it's not associated with it. So let's let's sort that out. Let's import that image in. Import new asset. Go to the mesh three. It's a 4K texture. Don't load in. And as you can see, it's associated that with our texture now. There's an S3 there. Actually, it's not done what it's supposed to have done. Let's have a look. So, mesh 3. Actually, been associated with the wrong one, so let's just. See what's going on there. Go to the material. Yeah, let's just get this right. So first of all. There's mesh three. Mesh three is still shown as the wrong texture. Just give us a second. Mesh three. Uh, yeah, I loaded the wrong one in. I should have loaded in the 4K texture. Let me just import the 4K texture. Import new asset 4K. Oh, I'm just. I'll just put that into there. Okay, so the 4K texture, that's the texture I want to put in with it. So let's just make a new material. New material. I'll call it 4K kill mat. And if we look, it's a standard shader, and that's fine. It's opaque, and this is associated with the 4K texture. So let's just drag that onto there. So it's 4K, and there's no smoothness at all. So it's matte. Okay. So there's our material. So I select our mesh, and I associated that material with it. We should get better too. As you can see, we've got a better material now. So we can just test that. Now, what we need to do, the mesh needs to be a child of the image target. So drag that onto the image target. Because if we don't do that, then we'll see it. And we can actually test it with the webcam. Uh, so if I click on play now, We're getting a view through the webcam, and if I point the webcam at the image target, it's loading up our object. It will be a lot quicker if you can see here now. We're getting a nice view of the kiln if I move the target image target round. I can also move the camera 
a bit of jitter in there, but we got a nice, nice, good detailed view of the kiln. So that's all working. So I'll just turn that off. Okay, so so we tested it. It works. So now we want to transfer this to a Android device. So the first thing I'm going to do is we go to edit. So not edit, go to build settings, build settings. And instead of PC, Mac, Linux, standby, we go to Android and go switch platform. For a short delay while it optimizes the good things in the project. It shouldn't take too long in this case. And we go. Now one of the things that you need to do is some of the Vuforia settings only work in a specific uh, Android operating system and obviously Android has gone through lots and lots of different versions. So if you go to player settings and if we scroll down, here we go, we get down to, so we're inside Android, we scroll down to we go, we go. Minimum API, okay, should be Android 8 or API 26 and target API level. Leave it at automatic highest install. Okay, so we can leave that as it is. You don't really need to do anything else to the settings to export as an APK. Now remember, if you're doing this for Google Play, for instance, you'd have to go through making sure there's a, a digital signature on it, make sure that it's that it was ready for uh, the Android Play website. But we're, I'm just going to show you how to export an APK, which you can install on your Android phone uh, uh, manually. So that's all done. Uh, next thing is uh, the the scene that this is in. Okay, we go back to assets and goes to scene. It's actually called sample scene, and I added the scene. Just make sure that you, that you do that because if you don't, there'll be no scenes for it to build from. And then once you've done that, uh, don't go build and run. Just click on build. And as you can see, I've already made one, so it's called test APK. I'll call it test two APK. And then everything else is automatic. And you can see uh, the previous APK was uh, 65 meg. So I'll just save that and it'll build. And then we'll come back uh, and show you what to do with the APK once it's built. If there's any errors, uh, they'll come up in the console and it'll also tell you if there's anything, but it shouldn't shouldn't be any errors. You can see it's building the Gradle project now. And that should that should finish the build. Okay. So we'll come back and I'll show you what to do with that build.